I would say uh, just being more of a threat offensively, being more comfortable making plays offensively. You know, my first two years, it was what got me on the court was defense. Um, and obviously, I had good moments on the other side of the floor. But I think this year, I'm going to have to be more consistent on the offensive end. And that's really what I worked on a lot this summer. And um, I think I'll just be more of a two-way player. And that's what this team needs. Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously injuries are tough. You gotta, you gotta take time off and you gotta get it right. Um, but I was able, you know, once it healed enough to where I was able to, you know, put walk on it with the boot. You know, I was able to get in the gym and do stuff that didn't involve the ankle and, you know, work on my upper body and work on other things that, you know, weren't injured. And yeah, I'm in a good spot right now. Yeah, yeah, I, I um. You know what, I can't remember if we were on the same team. I'm pretty sure we were at least one time. Um, we've been playing against each other a lot. Um, it's really fun. Um, you know, I haven't, I know we're all, I'm, I'm very excited about being at the room with him, you know, every game and um, seeing how effective that's going to be. But yeah, the, the preseason scrimmages have been fun with him. And uh, I've been in and out because of my ankle trying to get that right, get the strength back. But yeah, it's, you know, it's fun to watch him too. You know, he's just a big human. And um, defensively, he's going to be huge for us. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be big time. Um, not only him, I mean, Scal's going to be there with us too. Um, I mean, Anthony Soliver had that Greek freak block last year. I mean, you know, we have a lot of guys that you know take pride in defense, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm I'm really excited. Not really. Um, obviously, you know, my goal is to be consistent with that. If I do get that starting job, we don't know, what, you know, what the what the um, the rotations are going to look like just yet. I'm sure we'll get a better idea tomorrow going into training camp. But my mindset is the same: to go in there and make an impact and help our team win. I don't remember the first time I watched him, but I just I, I remember watching him a lot growing up. Absolutely. Um, you know, the the fact that this team, we, we start, you know, our training camp starts tomorrow, but we've been here for four weeks already training uh, every day really hard. And um, I think just the type of guys they brought in, not only are they super talented, but, you know, they're just great people and they, they're ready to buy into what we have going here. And um, they're all excited to be on a, on, a, on a team that was, you know, on the verge of going to the finals last year. And um, they're ready to build on that. So. Um, you know, I, I was definitely, you know, it sucks when you lose guys that you get a relationship with and you go to battle with for the last two, you know, for me it was two years. Um, but it's, there's no question we brought in um, great dudes and, um, you know, especially seeing how well they, they work together and how all of those guys play unselfishly these last four weeks. I'm, I'm just really excited. Yeah, I mean, we, we they play every day. Um, we all play together every day. We, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen the pictures. We've we've been on on the turf conditioning together, and you know, whenever you go through things that are hard physically, uh, when you do it together and you're there to pick each other up, that'll get you close, you know, that much closer automatically. So, um, the, this this month has been huge for us, and I think going into training camp is just gonna take it that take that next step as far as chemistry goes. Who said that? Gasol, got it. Yeah. Well, usually since I've been here, it's you know Coach Stotts and the coaching staff really want us here that early every year. Um, and obviously our leaders, Dame and CJ, they love that. You know they they they're always here that early too. So. Um, no, it's definitely, I think for me, it was definitely a Coach Dots thing. Since I've been here, it's always be, be back early September, and we're here working four or five days a week. The fifth day, Friday's optional. So um, it's it just makes going into training camp that much easier because, you know, we're already in decent shape going into training camp. So 
we can just really focus on learning uh, the plays and especially for the new guys coming in. Yeah, I feel great. Yeah. I didn't shoot any threes this summer. No, no. I, yeah, I, I worked on it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked. Uh, I shot a lot of threes. I worked on making my shot more consistent, um, making sure everything's a little bit more solid. Um, I was here a lot in Portland, so I was able to work on the shots that you know they they see me taking this this next season. So, um, yeah, it was a really good summer working on my shot from all areas, mid range as well. I'm a lot more comfortable from there, and um, now I just got to go out on the floor and, and show it. Just kind of imagine me starting at a four or a five. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, I'm probably not going to start a point guard or a shooting guard, but uh, yeah, it's definitely. I've always envisioned myself as a starter. I think I said it after last season. Um, that's kind of what I've always wanted to be. It's kind of what I've been for the most most part of my basketball career, and um, that's where I feel comfortable. Um, I mean, there's different jobs for the four and the five, especially on this team. Uh, the five is, I think I said it last year too, the five is a little more involved in um, offense and defense because both teams are using their five and pick and rolls and screens and all that. So um, the four just kind of has to have to, um, you know, figure out where they can be effective. And maybe they're not always involved, but they can be doing something to get someone else that's in other, someone else involved that's not necessarily written up on the playbook. So. Um, I like both positions a lot, and I think on this team, both positions can be equally effective, so I'm excited. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I, you guys know, started off great last year and kind of um, took a dip and then got back to being myself towards the end of the year and just staying even keeled this year mentally and with my, per, you know, my play on the court is, is one of my goals. Very talented. Um, I just think, you know, with the guys that, that could bring up the ball, you know, Dame and TJ aren't always going to have to bring the ball up for us. And not that we didn't have that before, but especially this year, we're, gonna, we're just going to be a lot faster than me. And um, we really put an emphasis on even if we get scored on, we're still going to try to take the ball out quick and get going and treat it as a fast break. So um, just, just really talented on both ends of the floor. And like I said, everyone's buying into this culture here already. So. Um, you know, we're really excited. I'm really excited. Um, when, when he, when we signed him, uh, I tried to get his number right away and I texted him just saying how much of a fan I was and, uh, how much of a sponge I'm going to be. Um, just a guy like that who's a hall of famer. He's a legend, someone that has gone up against the best in the biggest moments and, and shown out. Um, he's just very, he's a, just extremely good player, extremely good dude. Um, I met him for the first time a couple weeks ago and just couldn't be more of a, you know, just a great guy and someone that you can sit down and talk to about, you know, not non-basketball things and he's going to be open to that. And uh, he just seems very open to teaching as well, which is, which is huge for us.